we're going to be working with translations, reflections, and rotations. And some definitions. A transformation is a change in, a, in the size or position of a figure. Translation is the movement, meaning it's going to slide a figure along a straight line. A reflection is going to transform in which a transformation in which a figure flips across a line of a quadrant um, plane. And rotation is going to be a transformation in which a figure is turned about a point. For example, a 90 uh, degree rotation is going to turn it, it turns one quadrant onto the quadrant plane. And a 180 rotation turns it two quadrants. 270 degrees will rotate it to the third quadrant, and if I do it 360, I have got it right back to the place of where I started from. Very important concept number one, pre-image is what you start with. For example, if I have a triangle ABC, I'm going to have a prime image, and it is going to result of a transformation. So if I've got triangle ABC is my original pre-image, my prime image is going to be looked at with an A, triangle A, hash mark, B hash mark, C hash mark. If there's one more than one hash mark there, it means that it has been changed twice if it's two hash marks. The very important concept number two, a translation slides the figure left to right. If it goes left to right, you're going to add or subtract that number from the x value in the coordinate point. If it goes up or down, you're going to add or subtract the number <clears throat> from the y axis or from the y coordinate point. For example, if I translate a triangle ABC up two units and to the right three units, I've got to name the ordered pairs. I already know that A is negative three and negative two, negative three. B is going to be negative two, and this is going to be one, two, three, four, five, five. C is going to be zero, <clears throat> because I don't move it left to right on the x-axis, and three. So if I want to change it by going up 2 and over to the right 3, if I go take A and go to the right 3, it's going to go over 1, 2, 3 on the y-axis, which will start it right here, okay? So I know that that is going to be 0, 3, okay? Or, I'm sorry, if I go over 3, I haven't even started doing it right, I'm sorry. So if I go over 3 and up 2, it's going to go 1 over 3 and up 2. The new A coordinate is going to be here. So A prime is going to start here. So I'm going to go over 0 and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. <clears throat> so 0, 5. And my new B is going to go up from here. It's going to go up 1, 2, and over to the right 3, which is going to be 1, 2, and 3. So this point is going to be over here at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 1. <clears throat> and I'm going to erase that so you can see that a little bit better. And then I'm going to put this over here at C. It's going to go up 1, 2, and over 1, 2, 3 units to the right. So it's going to be right here. So my new triangle is going to look like so. This is A prime, B prime, and C prime. And this is going to be 1, 2, 3 <coughs> over here for the C prime for this. C, for this. Three, and it's going to go up one, two, three, four, five. So this is going to be three, five. If you notice, if I wanted to go up two, all I had to do was add two to each one of these. And two plus three is five. Two plus five is seven. Whoop, I got that wrong. Two plus five is seven. And two plus three is five. If I wanted to go over to the right, if I wanted to go to the right three, I've got to move it three places with the X. So with the A, I'm going to add 3, so that negative 3 plus 3 gives me 0, negative 2 plus 3 gives me 1, and 0 plus 3 gives me 3. So I can either add it to my coordinates or I can do it on the graph as such.
very important concept number three. In a reflection, if you flip over the x-axis, you're going to change the y value to their opposites. And if you flip over the y-axis, you're going to change the x values to their opposites. For example, let's look at the, the triangle CDE, and we're going to reflect it over the, uh, the y-axis here. So I've got triangle, triangle CD, uh, angle C is going to be at 2 and 1, triangle D is going to be at 5 and 3, and angle E is going to be at 3 and 4. And if I'm going to flip it or reflect it over this y-axis here, that's the up and down, then what I've got to do is when I turn it over, <clears throat> when I flip it over the y-axis, I'm going to make the x's are going to be their opposites. So if x is 2 here, I know that in this case, it's got to be negative 2 and 1. I'm going to keep the y's the same. If D is 5, the original image is 5, then I know that its prime image is going to be at negative 5 and 3. And I know if it E is at 3, its prime image is going to be at negative 3 and 4. So when I go to graph these, it's going to look like a negative 2 and 1. Negative 2 and 1 is my new prime C. Negative 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 3, 1, 2, 3, is going to be my new prime E, D. And this is going to be my new prime, D. And I know that negative 3, 1, 2, 3, and 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, is going to be my new prime, E. And I'm going to connect these together. And these are going to just be a flip-flop over the y-axis of what we started out here with my, prime, with my, my, new, my first image and my prime image. So we're only going to do it if I flipped over the y-axis. It was only going to change my x-axis to their opposite. Had I flipped over the x-axis, my y's would have turned into the negatives of what we started with. Very important concept number four. In rotations, the figure will rotate either clockwise, meaning to the right, or counterclockwise, meaning to the left. In this case, we're going to rotate triangle A, B, C into a 90 degree angle. So when I'm doing this, I'm going to look at angle 1. This is going to change because this is now going to be flipped and at the, high, the A is going to be over here. So if I'm looking at this, I'm going to flip my X value with my Y value. So instead of 1, 3, it's now going to look like Y x and the x value is going to be negative. That's all we did from here to here. So from 1, 3, it's going to be 3, negative 1. For 2, 1, it's going to be 1, negative 2. And for 1, 1, it's just going to be 1, negative 1. So when I go to graph the prime of these, it's going to be 3, negative 1. It's going to be my a prime. B, my prime b is going to be 1, negative 2 which is my B value here, prime, and C is going to be 1, negative 1, which is my C prime, and I'm going to connect these together, and when I do, I have rotated this in a 90 degree angle down into quadrant 4, which is going to be, I mean, or, yes, which is going to be quadrant 2, which is going to be positive negatives because I have flipped my two x and y's over, and I have made my x value, which is now in the y's position, a negative. This is just a recap what we've talked about. When we're talking about translations, we're talking about sliding the image, either left or right, or up and down. When I'm sliding it down, I'm going to subtract from the y value. When I'm sliding it up, I'm going to add to the y value. 
When I'm going to the right, I'm going to add to the x value. And when I'm sliding it to the left or translating it to the left, I'm going to subtract from the x-axis. When I'm looking at a reflection, I'm going to flip it. So you've heard about slide, flip, and turn. So I'm going to flip it. So over the x-axis, what happens is my x-y coordinate will come, become x and a negative y. When I'm flipping it over the y-axis, my x-y coordinate will become a negative x-y. Here, the rotations or where it begins to turn is the hardest one of all. When I'm looking at a 90 degree clockwise or a 270, meaning you're going into the third quadrant, you're going to counterclockwise is going to be your XY value, which is your image. Your pre-image will turn into flip the coordinates and make the X value negative. So when I'm going at 90 degrees, just one quadrant or three quadrants, which is going to be 270 degrees, I'm going to flip my X and Y and make X a negative number. 180 means I'm going from one angle all the way over into a straight line. So my X and Ys, my uh, pre-image is now going to be both X and Ys are going to be negative or the opposite of each other. For this one, this is going to be 250 degrees if I'm doing that clockwise or 950, clockwise meaning around this way, or 90 degrees meaning, third, meaning to the left, I'm going to take my X, Y and I'm going to change my X and Ys, flip them in the coordinate point and make my Y value or the first one is going to be negative. When I'm going 360, it's going to totally turn all the way around, and it's going to end up on the original place that it started, so XY will be XY.